you should uh, and the abelo should uh, tell nigerians why shapio was a common face in government house what was he doing we all know we do respect to uh, ex convicts and those who were freed and been given a second chance we all know that in other countries even in here in nigeria once you have been convicted of a, a crime even if it's as mild as shoplifting stealing or hitting someone or whatever you will find it very difficult such a person will find it very difficult integrating back into the workspace that means um banking sectors or government uh, offices would keep such a person at you know at healthy arms length until such a person has been able to prove over time that they are of reformed character but then here you have an individual who was directly released from the death row from the Suraya prisons leaving that's the chief of staff to Yahaya Bello in white his name is Asuku and that's the gentleman Shafiu in question who was picked up in Trademore Estate so you can see that there are so many pictures that tie him together he lived with them he hobnobbed with them Naya Bello owes Nigerians an explanation on what Shafiu did for him and why is he why is he after Shafiu is it that Shafiu knows too much and was it that Shafiu now was ready to expose all the ills and all the bad things that he had done for the governor why exactly is he after shafiu yabelu owes nigeria this explanation and one more thing we all know that if a governor is to grant a prisoner pardon it has there are some constitutional processes that need to be followed such as gazetting that pardon i'm yet to see that such a person that he's actually it was actually gazetted so Yahya Bello actually owes Nigerians an explanation, and I hope the DSS gets to invite myself, Yahya Bello, and bring Shafiu. And that interrogation will be lively transmitted. I will hope, Mr. Rudolph, when I get the invitation, I'm going to exercise my right by telling you to please connect me live, and I would like